Well, on a recent trip to New York, I had the extreme pleasure of sitting down with the pride of Sheboygan, Wisconsin. And he's one of the funniest human beings to ever inhabit our planet, comedian Jackie Mason. I asked him about how he got out of the family business of being a Jewish rabbi and into the world of stand-up comedy in the Big Apple. Before com comedy, you were a rabbi, is right. that right? So uh, when I did sermons, I said to myself, I'll enjoy some lighthearted things as a change of pace. So I started enticing some jokes here and there whenever it was relevant to the subject. And before you know it, the sermons became a hit. Then I told more jokes and it became a bigger hit. For my sermons, I got about 11 people. When I started to do more and more comedy, it went up to 20 people, 30, 40. Before you know it, you couldn't get into the building. Then I said to myself, if I could attract that many people as a comedian, why should I only do it here? So I, I didn't have the nerve to tell it to my parents because they only lived for the thought that I'll be a rabbi. I had three brothers. They all became rabbis before me. All three of them? All three of them. We, I come from an inheritance of rabbis that goes back at least a, a year and a half. The whole, the whole history of my life was always rabbis. Home of rabbis and very strict... Jewish parents, so the comedy gene somehow must be unique to you within the whole family. You're right. I had no idea to even think of not only of a comedian. The whole idea of the entertainment business was so <laughs> distant from a guy who's sitting there learning the Talmud day and night and studying day and night to become a rabbi. Could you imagine a guy like this suddenly thinking he'll be, he'll be on the stage in a nightclub where people have their clothes <laughs> almost off? Some people are wearing some clothes, some no clothes, and suddenly I joined them from, uh, <laughs> from the Talmud in a small town to a guy in New York all of a sudden in front of a mob like this <laughs> telling jokes. But the offerings were better in the nightclubs, I guess, than in the uh, synagogue. So the offerings, <laughs> that's right, the <laughs> offerings was right. Did, did the inspiration for comedy and the jokes? Did it just come from people you knew or just stuff that you thought of? I don't even know where I get it from. I'm, uh. I'm observing life day and night and I get a kick out of seeing people behaving however they do and I find myself unconsciously, subconsciously studying everybody. What's on their mind, I say to myself? Well, for instance, I, I watch couples all the time and I say to myself very often, how come you never see a couple where the guy is shorter than the girl. Shorter, let's say, to meet in a restaurant and they're sitting next to each other. And the girl goes crazy about this guy. This is the most interesting person she ever saw. And she can't wait to take him back to his, her children, her mother, her brother, and take him all over the world so everybody should look at him. This is my new man. I'm dying for him. Then he gets up from the chair. Ay, boy, it's all over. <laughs> she's six foot two and he's one foot and a half. And you think she's going to keep talking to him? The love affair is over as soon as he gets up from the floor. One of the things that I have admired about you for a long time, you are an outspoken and courageous uh, voice for the importance of America's alliance with Israel. And you, you don't mince words. You're clear you're bold. A lot of entertainers don't even get into issues that would be controversial. You've never backed away. But it's Important not only you. Israel. I'm very, I'm a, a rabid, a phenomenal kind of a patriot about Israel. But I think I, I never wanted to compromise my ideas about anything. Hmm. I never said to myself, if I don't say this, who knows, my career will burst out much bigger because the people who control the industry might think one way, and if I think another way, they won't be able to accept me. Because uh, yeah, I did it a lot of times. Like, Trump is a perfect example. Everybody in Hollywood hates Trump. They don't even know why they hate him. Trump lowered all their taxes. And all these people who work in Hollywood, I'm paying half the taxes now than they did a year ago. So you would think they would love Trump. He's Look what he did for me. All of a sudden, I couldn't afford a building on Third Street. <laughs> now I could buy five buildings in Philadelphia. <laughs> why, why would you hate a guy who did this for you? If I came to you and I cut all your taxes in half, would you say, drop dead, you little... <laughs> <laughs> no, I probably wouldn't. I think I'd be this grateful. This is amazing. Everything he wants to do or did, he accomplished so much for them in every direction. I mean, there's no retiring of Jackie Mason. You, you just keep going. It's amazing that you uh, uh, 
continue to do what you do. I do, I do what I do, and if it's, I try to enjoy it, and I do enjoy it. And I don't care if somebody likes it or don't. A lot of times, I remember when uh, Barack Obama, mm. when he became president, the Jews loved him. The Jews love anybody who's a liberal. Why is that, Jackie, that uh, the, the, the people on the left, within the Jewish community, uh, support the people that are really out there? They don't like Israel. They may be Jews, but they don't even like Israel. They don't support it. I would say, I've heard you ask this question on television before, mm. and I notice you don't have an answer. And you know what I notice? I don't know either. Mm. I have no idea. If, no, I'll never be able to figure out, because Jews have a kind of a, of a complex that they have to prove they go with the majority, that they do not stand out as an individual from a minority. And they're all, uh, Jews in general try to prove to you that I'm not that Jewish. You know the criticism I've gotten all my life from What's Jews that? who said to me, why do you sound so Jewish? They get <laughs> notions that I sound Jewish. Am I supposed <laughs> to sound like a Puerto Rican? What am I supposed to sound like? <laughs> They can't tolerate somebody who sounds Jewish. And because a big percentage of Jews are embarrassed by their Jewishness. If a Jew has a Jewish accent, they can't tolerate it. Jackie, thanks for what you've stood for, That's for America, very, for very Israel, sweet of you to say. and for great comedy. Very sweet of you to say. I, I appreciate you. your sincerity because it's hard to find that in a politician. Well, well, good luck to you. Let thanks. me know if you need me again. I do. But, but I won't <laughs> have the time. <laughs> <laughs> At 87 years young, Jackie Mason is an American comic treasure. Be sure to visit JackieMason.com for plenty of performances that'll make you laugh, not to mention his Ultimate Jew video blog. Every story, every punchline is flat out hilarious. And I hope you'll join him in his support of the nation of Israel.